so does a physical health first aid course. Does that teach us how to mend the broken bone or do the stitches that might be required in that situation? So, no. so just um, just like a physical health first aid, youth mental health first aid is that initial support and assistance. I'm going to be the, the band-aid until we can refer them to professional help if that's what they need. Preventative, so providing education to those youth that we might see in crisis because again, after today, you're gonna be like a wealth of knowledge for these youth and if they have questions, they're gonna come to you. And, you know, looking for those suicidal symptoms and you know, preventing that hopefully. It's gonna help identify resources. So, um, so that because this is what youth mental health first aid. It's not counseling. It's not putting you in the role of that professional. It's just helping you feel more comfortable talking to a youth who might be experiencing a mental health crisis. Years of teaching fourth grade, I've just noticed that kids are coming with a lot more baggage. Okay. Even five years ago, they didn't have the, the problems that they do. Like they just they have a lot to close on their plate. Is this an appropriate situation for me to intervene in? Am I the right person or is a different teacher that they're closer with? Maybe bringing the concern to them and saying, you know, I've noticed this, have you? Do we need to do something? Should we try to talk to them? How can we handle that? But, you know, we want to think of everybody's safety as well, also the first graders. Like you said, the social worker has to go to how many different schools and they're only at your school maybe once a week or twice a week if you're lucky, you know? So you can be there. You can be that first check-in. I'm gonna help you until we can talk to this person. But today I encourage you all to think about how you can use this training, you know, in all aspects of your life. And also just to remember as well that Youth Mental Health First Aid and what we talk about today doesn't change whatever policies or protocols that your places of work have in place. Um, just kind of help them move forward and you can just be somebody that they talk to until and if professional help is needed. So again, this isn't for you to be like, I can go diagnose an anxiety disorder. That will still be left up to the four or five professions that can do that, but this is just really to give you a broader understanding of what mental illness is. You have to know a little bit more about that youth to understand how it's been, how their thinking and behaviors have been affected. Um, but what you normally or typically see in the school is part two, and that's how it disrupts the person's ability to function in a daily setting. So for you, that's typically at school. So they may not be able to work or attend school. Um, older people don't go to work. Um, some younger people may not be able to um, make it to school on time because their anxiety is so persistent and severe that they don't want to get on the bus with the other kids. So really again kind of a two-parter. So it affects the person's ability to think, um, their emotional states, and then of course the behaviors. And the second part again is the person's um, ability to not be able to really function um, in a daily setting.